Hi there, Darren Seals. We here, application engineer with Solid Tech. We're just going to be taking a look at the bill of materials within SolidWorks drawings today, and going to be taking a look at some of the detailing that we can do that can be achieved when we place a bill of materials in our model. So as we can see, we've got an assembly in our model here at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and place a bill of materials, and we'll see some of the things we can play with as far as viewing levels, etc. So first, of all, I'm going to insert my bill of materials. So I come down here to my tables, and you can see there's various tables available to us. I'm going to go to my bill of materials. It's asking me to select a view, so I need to tell it which assembly it's going to apply this bill of materials to. Now we've got various options in here. As you can see, we can select a, a template. If we modify our bill of materials, we can go ahead and save out a template so that we can redraw a, a bill of materials with the same tables and columns as, it, as we've selected previously. So first of all, I'm going to go for a top level bill of materials. I'm just going to go ahead and place that over to the side here. And then we're going to look at some of the options. OK, so what we can see here is that we have a, a top level bill of materials, which is displaying only the sub assemblies, which are at the first level of our bill of materials. So if I click on my bill of materials here, we can see that the options become available to me again. OK, so we can see the difference here. If I go and change to parts only, we can see a list of uh, the individual components within my assembly. If we zoom out, we can see that that list is a little bit longer and uh, contains the quantities of each of the parts. What we can also do is tap down to an indented bill of materials. If I do that, we can go ahead and see that SolidWorks will uh, make a kind of a tabulated view, being able to see each of the top levels. And we can see here we've got numbering options as well. The item numbers here at the moment, it's only numbering the top level um, items within our assembly. So if we come down here, we can come down and go detailed numbering, and we can see that it then adds more of a, a detailed pullout, breaking down to further sub assembly levels and again into the components within those sub assemblies. And again, we've got a, an, an additional item here, flat numbering, just goes ahead and labels each sub assembly or part individually. Okay, so if we come back, let's say we go to our flat numbering, what we want to show here. So that we can also include or exclude assembly or sub-assembly levels. So we can see if we click to expand, click this tab here, which expands our an additional column here. What we can see is that we have the sub-assembly um, and assembly feature tree broken down here, and we get a little preview of each of the items. So what we can do at any sub-assembly level, you can just click the little minus button. What you'll see is that it just retracts all of the items. So you can go ahead and define for yourself which sub-assemblies or assemblies you want to be fully displayed within your bill of materials. Okay, if we want to, say, display different configurations of our model, I'll just collapse that for now, what we can do is we can go back over to a top level only. And let's say, for example, this assembly has two configurations in it, and you can see at the moment we've got quantities listed, and it's on an assumed configuration at the moment. And what we can see at the moment is <coughs> that we can enable the full configuration, which shows two configurations of our model. Okay, and we can only see the one at the moment, but there are two configurations here, and you can see that the quantity list for each of your items updates along with that. So I've seen a few handy little tools that are um, very useful within uh, creating a bill of materials and how we can set up turning on and off various levels of it to gain a bit more control over what we're displaying in our drawings. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.